welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Ben. Today I'm going to walk around this 2011 Nissan Dualis Ti that we have here in the beautiful maroon colour. I'm just going to first of all start at the front here. First, the thing I always like to look at is the nice front that the car has got with the nice big badging. So you've got the nice big chrome Nissan badging there. As we do look there as well, we do have your um, the nice headlights and you do have the fog lamps down in there with the nice chrome surrounding. First of all, looking at the bonnet as well, uh, very, very clean car, well looked after, um, in, in great condition. So as we start to step around, we're going to notice as we come down the nice, um, the body in the exterior of this car and how clean it really is. So first of all, we're just going to start at this front guard. So you can see there, a couple of light little scratches, but nothing major and they're not, they're not big. So. Um, in great condition as the rest of the vehicle as you'll as we point out so stopping at the first premium alloy wheel we do have a 18 inch alloy wheel there with really really good tire tread so they're near new tires on this vehicle stepping down to the driver's side um, the driver's side door we can see here we do have your proximity key now when you've got the key in your pocket you can actually press that button and that will lock and unlock the vehicle so really really nice easy and that comes standard in the ti um, stepping back away from the vehicle you can see how that nice chrome through the uh, through the sill there the under the under the door how good it looks and how it really sets apart and you do have the chrome door handles as well stepping down to the rear door again no marks on there can't see any scratches at all um, in great condition stopping at the second premium alloy wheel you do again have a nice uh, great tire tread on there and I can see there there is a little tiny bit of a bit of a mark on that wheel but that is like probably 25 centimeters long so very very small um, stepping back the one thing we will notice as well is the car does have a panoramic sunroof so we do have a glass sunroof on there um, which you can see there so it is darkened out as well so inside the car you are not getting um, you know you're not getting the sun or the UV rays come through and getting sunburnt in the car stepping around to the back so we do have here the car does have your reverse sensors on there we do have the nice dualis badging and we can see here the TI now the other thing we can see down there is the Xtronic CVT, which this car does run. So it does have a um, six-speed CVT. The best thing about that for you is that you don't feel the gear changes. So it is a, a really, really smooth change throughout those gears. We do have the high mount stoplight there as well. Um, so it's gonna give people behind you better vision that you are um, braking so people can know that you are um, applying brakes and and they're going to stop also we do have a button here now what that button there is for is again to lock and unlock that vehicle so you can see there i did lock it and then unlocked as well now sit looking in the back here very very big deep boot space in there and we do have a full size spare wheel there as well so that is actually a proper full size spare and we do have your tire jack and you do have towing points as well for there as well and you have got spanners there to undo your, your spare tire so you do have the deep boot space also what we do have is your anchor points so there is three anchor points in the back of the vehicle so it's going to allow you to put if you need to put baby seats or what you need to in that car stepping around to the passenger side again like the other side very very clean car starting with the third alloy wheel um, again like the rest of the vehicle these are near new tires 18 inch alloys um, in great condition so really really stands out now just want to point out there is a little bit of a mark here we can see so there's a little tiny bit of a stone chip there and we do have a little tiny mark here which with a little bit of a, a buff that might even just come out so it is um, that that is the only mark that I can see on this vehicle so that little tiny bit's not going to take away from the presentation of this vehicle it really presents very very well Stepping to the third premium, the fourth premium alloy wheel, sorry, um, we do have again another great premium alloy and brand new tyre there as well. So now let's jump under the bonnet and have a look at what makes this car tick. 
Okay, so now under the bonnet, like I said, let's see what makes this car tick. So underneath the bonnet of this vehicle, we do have a four-cylinder, two-litre, putting out 102 kilowatts at 198 newton metres of torque. As I said before, this car is coupled with a six-speed CVT. Now, what this car is going to get you is 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres. Now, this car has a 65-litre fuel tank, so if you work it out, on average, it's going to get you 793 kilometres per tank. Now, last thing I always like to touch on, which I'll go through a little bit more inside the car, but this car has got a five-star NCAP safety rating. To get it into Australia, they do have to comply with certain regulations. Now, the one thing I always like to talk about is what we call strategic weakening spots, okay? So bonnets are designed um, to, to be able to crumple, so they are what they call crumple zones. Also, what you do have is a really, really thick uh, piece of steel there, so it's high tensile steel, to stop that bracket from bending um, and it actually allows that that uh, bonnet to crumple also these do have very high tensile bolts underneath and allows that submarine engine mounts to allow the uh, motor to drop out of the vehicle and away not go back through the vehicle so number one priority for any vehicle is to keep you safe and the occupants safe inside the cabin Okay, so now inside the Nissan Duales, um, one thing I always like to touch on is how roomy and spacious the car is. So let's go through and discuss some of the features that the car has got um, and go through how it all works. So first of all, looking at the steering wheel, so you've got a nice leather wrapped steering wheel, nice firm feel for the car. Um, it's going to give you great grip and, uh, and drivability when you're driving the car. Looking here, everything is very, very simple. So we have got your radio controls and you can adjust the volumes. Also, you have got your pickup button so for your Bluetooth, um, and then you've got your radio controls there to adjust the radio station. Over on the right hand side, we have got cruise control. So you can turn that on and off, and then once you get to the certain speed that you're after, simply click that down and hit set, and that's gonna allow you to, to adjust that. Over on the right hand side, we have got your auto headlights, and then you've got your headlight control for manual. So you've got your auto, which turns your auto on. Um, over on the right hand side here, we have got your controls for your mirrors, which is just like a, a little joystick. So you click it to the left, back in the middle for neutral, and then over into the right to, to adjust your mirrors, and then click it around which way you, where you wanna go. Down here on the right as well, we do have electronic stability control or traction control where you can turn that on and off, okay? Also, what you have got is your ability to be able to adjust your headlights um, on long country drives or in the city driving. So you can actually adjust that to if you need better vision close to the car or better vision further away from the vehicle. Over on the right hand side as well, we do have your power window motors or power window buttons. So you've got your ability there to be able to, to um, have all four on the driver's side. Also, you have the ability to be able to lock it so that kids in the back or other passengers can't keep flicking up and down with their mirrors, uh, with their windows, sorry. Um, Back over to the left hand side of your steering column, we do have your auto wipers, um, low and then high, and then you have got your, uh, your back windscreen wiper as well. Um, so very, very handy. Um, that you've got the ability to be able to auto and that with your auto wipers and that comes standard in the TI. In the center here we do have the CD player so I'll go through that you've got so you can see there it comes up with the actual radio station name um, you do have the Bluetooth control and we can see there it is written Bluetooth it is a CD player um, you've got FM AM and then you've got an auxiliary control as well um, power button and your menu so your phone set up to Bluetooth link your Bluetooth through. Um, we do have your controls to adjust your radio stations. You've got your um, volume or your controller here. So we can go phone setup, hit enter, and then you can go in and pair your phone through that way. If we were to go back as well, um, 
if we actually go back we then can see that is your volume control there as well so very easy and then hit your enter button if you are looking to press something like to, in a menu mode down here we do have your dual zone climate control so for those people that like to have it a little bit warmer on one side and cool on the other um, like my partner and I she likes it to be really really warm I like it to be a little bit cooler so you have got the ability to be able to adjust that temperature also what you do have is the ability to be able to have it set that both sides are different okay so you, you can have it the same or you can have it separately as well what we do have um, in this vehicle now this is something that has been done by the previous owner we have got a the sensors which have been fitted now with this you can see it's actually going to tell you the distance as you get closer so there's three um, numbers there and that'll actually come up and get shorter as you get as you get closer so very very handy to have that and that disappears once you go back into drive or back into park as we then go back down here as well we have got another safety feature which you can lock and unlock the doors um, if you're un feeling unsafe in the vehicle you can quickly press the lock button and that locks all four doors and nobody can get in into the the cabin do have your heated seats as well so you've got the uh, high and low buttons for driver side and passenger side and you can see here really really nice plush leather seats that stand out and they've been very well looked after as well as you can see through here also what we're going to do is i'm just going to show you what the sunroof or the moonroof looks like so we've got the button that allows that moonroof to to open but it gives you that full glass and the other good part about it too is it is actually full block out so that is a full block out blind so you can see there with it fully closed you actually don't look it doesn't look like you have a sunroof there also you can see that the actual roof um, lining has been very well maintained very well looked after and um, it just goes to show it complements the vehicle on the outside as well what we're going to do as well is we're just going to pan around the back um, and have a quick look at the seats you can see here again very well maintained very well looked after and also what we do have with this vehicle as well is a nice dual zone where you've got your cup holders and you've got a nice uh, little bench there or armrest that you can actually have for long drives so you can put drinks in there and don't have to worry about the kids spilling anything there also we'll go back to the front we'll just have a quick look here so we're just going to touch on the full service history that the car has got um, now with these this service history um, so you've got to go through the book and with they do have the kilometers and the miles so we do have a full service history in this car um, and looks like it's been predominantly done by Nissan um, most of its life so very very handy to, to have um, a car with a full service history so that is your service books which are all in the car as well so they are all here for you when you do come in so there you have it, there's a walk around presentation of our 2011 uh, Nissan Dualis in the TI. Really look forward to meeting with you when you do come in. Um, this car also does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan because it is in such great shape and great condition. For any information on that, click the link below. Uh, really look forward to meeting with you. 9907 is the number. Look forward to talking to you soon.